Evelyn Hirsch. Do you remember any of the titles? <laughs> we have, we've collected now over 400 of the of sheet music of Sophie. 200 she probably sang, and 200 she put her picture on because she wanted a penny a piece. That was going on then. Wow, do me a favor. Um, our website is selfietucker.com and send me an email after this so that I can look her up in our archives and I'll find stuff if it exists. Okay. That would be great. That's pretty cool. I hope no one who left earlier had a selfie story like that. that was, that's, uh, oh, this is my good friend, Mr. Nick Sanmaria, who's off to Broadway next week. There he is. I'm sorry, you are, sir. There was more of it, but it just cost too much to put it on the screen. We have that whole show, if you're nice and write to me. <laughs> but um, we found that at UCLA Archives. Uh, there were two shows that she was on there. Uh, there's another show we didn't put in with a Jerry Lewis show from 1962 or something, where she was on the full show, but it didn't play as well as Durante. And uh, we, we then got in touch with the Durante archives. That, that's a pretty funny story, actually, because I called up a lawyer. We found out the lawyer for that archive footage, and we had to go through the Durante estate, and obviously he was dead, but his daughter, Cece, was still alive at that time, back in 2007. And the, <laughs> the lawyer said to me, well, if you can get her to say, okay, I'll write up the paperwork, but you're never gonna get her on the phone. And I, I just don't remember, but we did find somebody, maybe if Gene Schwamm is out there, he probably helped me or something. But um, we got her phone number, and she was basically sleeping in the bed, and they woke her up. I didn't ask them to, and we got her on the phone, and I said, hi, we're doing this thing. Oh, I love Sophie Tucker. She was great to me, and my father loved her. I said, if I have your lawyer call, will you tell him it's okay? Call me now, and it happened. It happened. A lot of crazy stories. A lot like of stories that. like that with this whole project over the, over the nine years we've been doing this, and everybody has been wonderful. And I think it's just Sophie channeling herself to all these people. I will. T okay, we have one question. One more question from there. Oh yeah. They were in Vaudeville together. Yeah, Helen Keller um, was didn't have any money. She needed money, and her and Sullivan. Ann Sullivan, I think? Yeah. yeah. They, somebody approached them and said, would you like to be in vaudeville? And so in 1923, she came to the Palace Theater for the first time, and Sophie found out about it. And then Sophie became friends with her, and through Ann, she helped her put her makeup on, she became friends with her, and they would write to each other. There are dozen letters between the two of them, and it's really interesting handwriting too, because it looks like she wrote it herself. And, and they met in Scotland, and one little story, I'll tell you, um, she, in order to hear the music, she would put her ear on Ted Shapiro's piano. Yeah, and then she would sit in the audience and just listen to the vibrations, and she could tell the difference between clapping and laughing. And then they, Ted would go slower than usual when this happened because Anne would be fingering her hand. You remember how you saw that in the movie probably. And she did it verbatim and Sophie was embarrassed because they were pretty raunchy songs. And, and she said to her, after the show, she said to her, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Helen, uh, I hope I didn't embarrass you. Which is, what are you talking about? If they love it, I love it. And I love you. It was a wonderful relationship. Where are her scrapbooks now? The ones from 1957 to 1966 are at Brandeis University, and the ones that the earlier ones are at the New York Public Library. They're all back there. They're all back there. Well, I'm, I'm going to tell you one thing that uh, is probably 
something a director and a producer doesn't want to hear. But you've made Sophie come alive, and with all the photographs from people she knew and people that we, we know, the one thing that needs to be added are your two pictures, because you're the best friend that Sophie Tucker has had in 50 years. And thank you very much. Please, a lovely hand for them for coming tonight and showing Say hello in the lobby to us. Thank you. We'll be answering questions in the lobby if you want.